Hello, my name is Frank Clark and I'm a Google Trusted Photographer. If you're looking at this video, you've either just had a Google tour done or are looking at the possibility. If you've had a tour done, we'd like to thank you and let you know that we are here to help you in any way to help you get the most out of your tour. If you're looking to get a Google virtual tour done, then we can make that happen for you also. If we're not able to service you in-house, we'll be happy to set you up with a Google certified photographer from our network. We will have contact info at the end of the video and in front of you right now. Today I will be covering how to format the tour in preparation for your web page and Facebook page and how to extract iframe code to use in the next videos that will cover different types of web pages like straight HTML or CRM types like WordPress, Joomla, and others. First thing we need to do is pick a company to use as an example. One of my favorite tours because of all the colors is from a company called Artcraft in the National Harbor in Maryland. I'm going to go to Google Chrome here. Here we go. Okay, we type in Artcraft. And as you see over here to the right, as soon as I start getting the company ready, there's a C inside. This is actually Artcraft's tour. It's uh, hosted on the Google Maps system. And we're going to click right here. So, here we have the tour on the right. We now need to position our tour and the spot and the direction and angle we prefer to use it at. On this particular tour I think the best spot to start at is right to here and turn about right here. We're showing the uh, ceiling, good part of the front of the store and shows how deep the store is and some unique stuff about it here. Now that we have exactly where we want to start we need to get the iframe code to put it into our web page or Facebook. See this link right here? It looks like a little chain. Click on it. As you see, it brings up a dialog box. The first item here is a direct link URL. This is good for email, Twitter, and other text-based mediums, but we're not covering that in this video, but I just want to let you know what that was. What we want is the next section down, and more specifically, the Customize and Embed Map link, right here. As you see, a whole new page comes up, and here we have the tour. We can go small, which is 425 by 240, medium, which is 562 by 314, large, which is 700 by 394, or custom. Let's go 750 by 425. As you see the tour down here, resized. And again, we can just do slight adjustments here if we want, but this is exactly where I want it to be. So this is what the customer will see. Now down here you'll see iframe code. What you want to do is click once on the code that gets us in the area. Do a control A on your PC and that will highlight it all. If you're using a Mac it will be the command key and the A key. Then you want to do a control C on the PC and if you're on the Mac you want to do the control the command key plus the C key. Now Normally, if we were going into the next step, we'd go directly into our HTML or our Joomla or our WordPress or whatever CRM system we're using for our web page. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Notepad and we're going to drop the code there. And it would be the same as dropping it here as dropping it in the other places, but we're just going to hold this for the next video. Do a Control V as in Victor, and there's our code. And we're going to save this file as web code. Okay, that's done. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you need any additional help or want to schedule a tour, give us a call at 410 800 0788 or visit our webpage at www.trustedphotomd.com. More videos are available on our YouTube channel under the Trusted Photo MD. Thanks for watching. And from myself and the Google Photo teams all over the world, have a great day. Goodbye.